previously on Apprentice A. Oh, you silly animal. There's a cow in our dog park. We're not doing Star Wars stuff anymore, so what? we threw everything out. I used to play violin. It's so dark out. Is it in the middle of the night or in the middle of the morning? You never know with these crazy Canadians. No. It is 6 a.m. and I just got back from driving Cory to the airport. And it is just now starting to get a little bit sunrise. It's still a bit too early. The dogs agree with the earliness. They just are done. They're like, we're supposed to be sleeping for at least another three hours. What are you doing to me? I had similar thoughts in the morning. That's okay. So it was, in a, it was like a 4 a.m. up. Well, it was supposed to be. 4.30 was the actual departure time. So yeah, I made it to the airport on time. Everything's good. Came back and I decided I gotta make some eggs. And I, oh, I also wanted to make toast. So that I can put the over easy eggs on the toast. Ugh, this is more difficult than it looks. Uh, and this way I can put the over easy on the toast. And this way I'm gonna put the over easy on. Oh, no. This way I can put the <laughs> over easy eggs on the toast. Our toaster's a little broken. <clears throat> there we go. Needs a little bit of, a little bit of TLC. Check it out. Toast, butter, spinach, over easy eggs, cheddar cheese. Breakfast. Nailed it. These dorks. I put them in sweaters because three people was cold. And look at them. They're so cute. The cold weather just knocked them out. Oh my gosh, you guys are adorable. Look at, their, look at these little paws. To be fair, the cold weather has totally zonked me out as well. I'm sorry, what? I <laughs> uh, said the cold weather has totally zonked oh, me out okay. as well. Yeah, good. I've also been on hold for, for a really long time. Well, the music stopped. Oh, oh no, there it is. It's okay. I just gotta talk to people about above restable accounts, money stuff. No big deal. It's all right. <laughs> just, I, of course, as soon as I dial, I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Never fails. Like, yeah, no, like, yeah, no, hold. totally. Like, Please hold, and I'm like, no, I have to pee. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Home Maintenance with Corrado. Today, we're gonna fix a little problem we have known as a leaky faucet. What do you do when your faucet just won't stop running? Oh wait, did that work? How come that works? I wasn't able to turn it off for a week. Now it works. I'm gonna pretend that didn't work because it's still broken. Here's how you fix it. Step one is find the turn off water source. That bathroom doesn't have a bathroom shut off, so you have to go to the house shut off. It's over there. And it's in the wind. There is probably a million spiders in the way. So, one second, please. Step two is kill everything that is in your way. Carefully, without angering the spiders. Ugh. Now that you avoided certain death by clearing out the spider horde, you want to turn on water. Counterintuitive, because you want to drain the pipes. Drain those pipes so that there is no more water in them. This might take a couple minutes, so please stand by as this pipe continues to drain. Alright, that's close enough. Step whatever, clear off this counter, because things are going to get wet. Get a towel. You're going to unscrew this. Now, water's going to go everywhere. Look at all that water. Just so you know, if you were to turn on the water right now, uh, you would have a fountain. This would literally start spraying up everywhere. It would just be a total mess. There's your tools. Plus one cup of coffee. Almost done. This is definitely one of the more broken washers that I have seen today. And uh, it's pretty simple. We're gonna take the screw off, then we're gonna put a new washer on. It's gonna be epic. Once you realize your screwdriver is too big, come back with a reasonable size screwdriver for the job. Well, drop that screw down the sink. Oh no, I didn't! Saved by something that fell in the sink that shouldn't have been there. Well, I'm glad that's, that was there. What is this? I don't know. 
We'll worry about it later. Thank you to whoever left it there. Negative one washer. Life's difficult. Three more washers. We could do this a couple more times. Look at that. Washer in. Screw in. Ta-da. New washer. Wasn't this difficult? Then as you suspect, see water's gotten everywhere. You're gonna screw this back on. Congratulations, you just fixed the tap. Final step, clean up all the water that just went everywhere. Well, I guess that's not the final step. The actual final step is reaching back into the spider horde to turn this back on. Ah. That doesn't sound good. Oops, 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 oops. I left the cold on, but you can see it has fixed itself. Thanks for being part of the home maintenance show. I've been your host, Corrado. And so I hope we've learned something valuable today and you can really take this home with you. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Hey, everybody. Um, I am very excited to tell you that I am in Anaheim, California. And I only found out a couple days ago that I was even coming here. It wasn't a big part of a plan and it, just kind of this last minute confirmation. Um, but I am currently in the Grand Californian. Uh, and if you're a Disney fan, you would know that that's like a really incredible Disney hotel and spa that's attached to Disneyland. And uh, when you're here, you're, you're at Disneyland. And I'm at Disneyland, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I flew this morning. Uh, I had to wake up at like 3 a.m. Eastern, which is actually like basically midnight Pacific. So I've already been awake for a bajillion hours, but I slept, oh, I slept on the plane. But I am here to go to Disneyland, and not just Disneyland. Uh, I am here for a sneak peek at some Star Wars stuff, the new Star Wars stuff that uh, comes out next week. Uh, for the Seasons of the Force, that's like all the Christmas and holiday stuff. Disney's been renovating and getting everything ready because Disney owns Star Wars and there's a new Star Wars movie coming out. And so I get to be part of the, the media group that sees it first, which is like super, like super honoring and flattering. I've been having a lot of moments. When I first actually stepped into this lobby, I just kind of teared up and I would have logged it, but I had all of my luggage and I'm just, I'm here by myself. Um, I couldn't bring the team, unfortunately, but I'm here. And, uh, and we're gonna go into Disneyland right now. Disneyland! There it is, the 60th celebration. Yeah, it's Mickey Mouse! And they got some Christmas lights out. The season has begun, and in we go. I found my good friend, Chloe Dykstra. Hey, guys! And, and she got caught in a tram jam. Yeah, and now, now we're headed to Tomorrowland, which is closed to everyone else, but open to us, because we have these. And we have to run, because there's an exclusive screening. Any minute, right? I can see it, and it's different. This is new Tomorrowland. More like a long time ago, galaxy far, far away. Is it closed? What if I have one of these? You're fine. Yes, we're fine. You love that so much. We did it. Oh, it's the ego. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. There's another screening happening that everyone is in, and because everyone is in it, we are the only people in Star Tours. We have our own spaceship. <laughs> Wait, isn't there? Sometimes they have like the rebel this guy. This is new. This is all new. Ooh. I don't know. This is like a weird space frame. Star Tours 1000. Actually, yeah. Let me. Look, there's R2. Wait, wait. I have to get a video of this. I can be really loud and obnoxious. Hello. Say hi. Hi. Uh, we are uh, about to go on the Star Tours, and there's nobody else on the ride. They have all the sounds so turned off. Watching a screening, so it's just us and C3PO. I'm so excited. This is so exciting. So let us just go on over and over again. Uh, that would be awesome. Although I will say I've been on there twice in a row before, and it's definitely that's a yeah. that's definitely. A so when it, the first time I came to Disneyland after the new Star Tours came out, I did seven times in a row so I could see every single combo. It was awesome. No, Combos in that, well, there's like 54 different. If you like, no, there's not 54. Well, it's weird. There's like three different beginnings, and a bunch of middles, a bunch of ends, and. 
All right, we're doing it. This is so weird. I want to get there so bad. I feel like I feel like it's Christmas tomorrow. It, 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 it's all nice light lit too. Yeah. Also, Matt's here. Hi. Hi. He's been in the vlog barely. I wasn't but, expecting that. I know it happens. <laughs> I call that a, I call that a tender high five. <laughs> That's what I was going. Yeah, yeah, Super the, awkward. Yeah. I, I don't I don't want to hurt him. That was the greatest thing that has ever happened in all of the great things to ever happen. Thank you. So I found new Star Wars Christmas pajamas that I'm stoked to try on. That's cool. It's the right. cross. Yeah, it is. It's the Lord. That's Jesus' favorite Star Wars jewelry. So I'm definitely a medium. That fits. This is a medium. It was improperly labeled. <laughs> it fits. I know, it looks good. I think it fits really well. I'm so happy about this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for not throwing me out of this park. Okay, I'm getting it. You guys got your Star Wars food? I did. We're all eating. What did you I get? Had, I actually asked for an extra wrapper. How horrible was that? That's not horrible at all. <laughs> Chloe grabbed just like a bunch of drinks, so she could just because she wanted all of the glowy, yeah. the glowy QB things. Yeah. Whoa! What is that? You should not eat that ever. Don't eat it. Just keep it. Red. I don't know. Maybe it's. Just put a filter on it. Um, so they have a light side menu and a dark side menu. And I think sometimes the menu changes. Yeah, look, look at the dark side burger. It actually has a dark bun and it comes in a cool carbonite thing. And they have Orabesh and it says first order and that says the dark side. Hi, we're doing it again. It's not a flight attendant, Matt. What? <laughs> this is not a flight. Here, sir. Can I see your tickets, please? <laughs> tickets. Are you periscoping still? I am periscoping. Are you live? I am live right now. Uh, would you like us to stop? Oh, my belt's not on. I'm oh, sorry. Put on your belt. Home is where the fog is.